bonjour, bonjour, my floss tube friends. It is the 11th? No, I think it's the 12th of, oh my God, that's not a good sign, is it? I think I'm getting into vacation mode. Which is it today? It is the 12th, 12th of July today. And welcome to Floss Tube number 36. I don't know. It feels like I've been on 30 to 35 forever. Um, it's Monday. It's damn hot outside and I hate it. Um, I have been having a headache for at least four days in a row and I'm just exhausted. That's not a good way to start floss tube, but I wanted to make a floss tube uh, because it has gone two, we two weeks already and I want to do this for you um, and I can relax afterwards. Anyway, um, we'll see how long this will be. I will try to keep it not too long so I can just go back to resting. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, my sweet supporters who has been buying me coffee. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And a special thank you to Kirsty, Kirsty, Michelle, and Judith. Thank you very, very, very much. I'm so surprised every time I get an email saying that one of you has uh, bought me a coffee and it makes me so happy that you appreciate what I do. And I love doing this. Even if I have a bad day today, I love doing this. Um, so thank you, thank you very much. And all the support, all the copies go straight back into um, cross stitching. And I will show uh, you guys here on FlossTube. And I will keep on doing the stitch with me, the stitching chats, and maybe a little bit of tutorial. Um, so, um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, and of course, I want to thank everyone who are subscribing, new and old, and who keeps coming back to watch my floss tubes or whatever uh, video I, uh, you know, uh, put out there. Uh, Thank you for the likes and the comments. I love it. And I, it's great to have this interaction with you guys. So just don't stop, <laughs> okay? Uh, so yeah, I'm Linda and my channel, 144 hobbies, not whips, <laughs> even if it might feel like that sometimes. So two weeks has passed. I'm in the Tour de France challenge and oh boy, what a competition. I mean, I'm not talking cross stitching now. I'm talking about the cycling. You know, Mark Cavendish is my all time favorite, favorite cyclist. He is a joy to watch when there is a sprint stage. You know, when there is like three kilometers left, I can't hardly watch. When there is like 1,000 meters left to the finish line, I'm like holding my breath. And like he has now for four, four wins this Tour de France, four, five. Oh, I lost count. I'm like all gutted up, you know, I'm just, I feel the joy and he's so cool and he's so amazing. He's so 
he has written history. He has won 34 Tour de France wins and he's on the same level amount of wins as Eddie Merckx, who is the record, record holder. So one more win and oh, maybe Friday, maybe the last day. I'm hoping for him. So, but the Tour de France challenge on uh, full coverage fanatics was to stitch as many stitches as their biking uh, riding, you know, um, the kilometers of Tour de France. And I went for the jello, yellow, not yellow, why am I saying jello? Yellow jersey, which is 3,480 stitches. And I chose to do it on my softest steel, which is my focus piece for this year. And which is also in the challenge 21,000 in 21. Um, and, and this is how far I've gotten. So I have actually gotten quite a lot of progress on this, even if it's just background. It's still quite a lot. The last time I showed, I was around here. So I went up this column and then I went straight across. And I think I will just keep on. This is how far I gridded uh, this part. And over here is the middle. So I will just keep on going down. It's going to be a lot of pink and reds and whatnot. A lot of background, but it needs to be stitched as well. Uh, and <laughs> I have already crossed the finish line. I stitched, well, they bike around 200 kilometers every day, except for Mondays when there is a, re which is a rest day. Uh, some days they bike a little shorter and sometimes a little further, but at about 200. So, um, last month I was stitching a hundred stitches a day before I stitched anything else. This time I'm stitching the amount of kilometers like about 200 stitches a day so I've gotten a lot of progress and there I have a couple of days I've just kept stitching on soft steel um, so I, I got a little ahead of myself uh, so until today I have stitched 3940 stitches during um, it started in, in the end of June, Tour de France, so I have stitched quite a lot. And there's, there's still, what, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think there's still six days of Tour de France left, so at least a thousand stitches more, I guess, I will put in. However, those stitches has taken time away from my other stitching, of course. So I'm looking forward to when Tour de France is finished that I can go back to just to 100 a day because it's enough. Because I have other stitches I really want to stitch on. So the other one I was stitching on was Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And I'm enjoying this piece so much. It's so hard to let go. I have found a way which fits me very well to stitch all this confetti. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Um, soft as steel. It's stitched on 27 count Linda even weave. Uh, one over one. I'm using DMC. All right, so back to this. Uh, um, I'm gonna give you some numbers, I think. I think I have numbers. But the numbers aren't all accurate because uh, I started stitching this, like, it's, is it two, three years ago they released it? Um, and then it got re recharted charted, and then I had already stitched quite a lot of blue and black. So I'm over here stitching. So I had already 
pre-stitched some you know anyway but this thing i stitched today so this is like what i'm going to show floss tube the next time but you know i just had to get back to it so i finished uh the owl yeah and the books this part i finished the last week i was working on it and i realized that these the, this isn't a lamp. These are candles. What? The detail is amazing. And looking at it in the the um, viewfinder here, whatever you call it, it's just wow. And I know I started stitching on the the um, armor guy before, like last year or something. Uh, but it was so confetti heavy uh, I just lost interest it was all purple and it looked weird but now I got to him and I've been like cross-country parking I mixed the two and it fits me very well uh, and it looks so cool so cool Ugh. right now I feel like this could be a piece I would not like to let go I could just you know keep on stitching until I get tired of it so uh, my goal is you know to to finish the whole thing here I think that would be like four pages in total so I can move my frame I don't know if I'm going that way or if I'm going downwards I don't know uh, but we'll see I mean, it's going to take forever to do that. And I still, I'm not going to not stitch on anything else. Don't worry. <laughs> I will. Um, numbers. Uh, this is on 25 count, the easy grid. And one over one with DMC. And how much have I stitched? I haven't actually calculated that. But I have stitched... Um, Let's see. Oh, 471. I've had some days where I haven't stitched at all because just um, a headache and wanting to just, you know, watch TV with my family and just not, <sighs> yeah, go to bed early. Um, so see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's quite a lot. About eight hundred stitches. Yeah. But I think I have filled some of it with already pre-stitched uh, stitches. So that's that was quite a lot. I usually don't stitch that much, but. Uh, I think maybe I was off work. So, ah, never mind. I think I did great progress here. Um, so, so I'm working on this one now. And, you know, we're not talking plans, but this is going to be stitched on the first this week. Yeah. It looks amazing. It looks so amazing. I cannot stop looking at it. And the owl. He looks a little scary. He had like red brownish eyes. So he looks a bit scary. Or she. So it's in heaven and earth. Uh, once upon a fairy tale. Max, max color, super sized. Amy Stewart. Um, yeah, and the week after that, as you all know, if you watched my last show, uh, it was Deliziosa who was uh, chosen by my wheel. And it's also Heaven and Earth design. Um, the artist is Helen Beland. Helen Beland. And I did not do that much. I didn't get to do that much on it. I have done this part, 
There is, again, two days. I've only stitched four days on it. There were two days where I was just... Yeah, I haven't had the best... I don't know if it's the heat or stress or whatever. It's my migraines. It's been rough. And I guess I haven't been feeling this as much as uh, like Once Upon a Fairy Tale. But I mean, it looks so beautiful. Really beautiful. So I tried the same way here with cross country stitching over three grids in the col column down and then park. Uh, or maybe, no, I'm lying. Um, two columns uh, doing cross country down and parking. I don't know if that was the best way for this piece. I don't know. I, d I wasn't feeling it as much, but I'm over. I have passed the one page mark. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, and I know when this page is finished, the next page is the water. So I need to get back to this soon. Uh, so yeah, I didn't do much, just four days. I think, um, how many stitches about was it? Um, where's my Deliciosa? Um, bum bum bum. Here she is. One, three, four, seven, plus four is eleven. So about one thousand two hundred stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one thousand two hundred stitches. So that was quite okay, I guess for four days of stitching. Yeah, I shouldn't be sad about that. No, that was good. Deliciosa, 25 count. I'm using kind of a, of a beige um, even weave. I wanted this is softer. I like the softer uh, fabric. Uh, I have to grid it myself. I use a very thin, you see the red, a very thin fish line, uh, very cheap. Um, it does take extra time to grid it out, but, um, and you can miscount. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to uh, a little bit darker because there was, uh, the background was a, a bit dull. So, um, yeah, I like that a lot. So that was that. So that was the two weeks and that was the day of focus piece. And then Fridays I stitch on my Mirabilia and my poison garden. So <coughs> my mirror, I'm going to tense her up a little bit. Here she is. And now I start, I wonder what did I stitch? I think actually I filled in these parts so that was with uh, filament you use like two uh, DMC threads to get a middle color so it looks pretty nice it does and I just want to finish her so I can start one of my I, I need to stitch one a mermaid and then I want to stitch the queens and and I want to stitch some of the other ladies, but I think a mermaid, because I hate mermaids, but the Mirabilia mermaids, I love them. <laughs> so um, it's on 28 count. Um, I think I prefer to stitch on 32 count actually. Um, it's Moss Ruined by Crafty Kitten, which isn't taking any orders at the moment. But I'll guess she will open up uh, in the future when she has caught up on all her orders that hasn't been delivered. Should I say something else about the Mirabilia? Oh, I could tell you that it is the Lady of Mystery. That's a good thing to know. 
Mm hmm Yes. Uh, do I need to tell you something else about the Mirabilia? Other than she is beautiful. Now, let's go to something else that is beautiful in a total different way. And if you want to see a little bit more up close stitching on my poison garden, which is which is a chatelaine, go watch my latest video where I show uh, stitching one over one and uh, one way of doing the Jessica stitches. And I actually just wanted to, I wanted to stitch on this this week. I was thinking maybe I should just go with the Chatelaine and get some progress on that. But then since um, the, the sidebars on, this is the Millennium frame. I used the Millennium frame for my Chatelaine and my softest steel. Then I would have to you know, switch the sidebars every day if I was going to jump between them and I didn't want to do that. So I chose something else. I chose to go back to Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Anyway, let's stop talking. So I finished this corner and then on the floss tube, no, not the floss tube, but on YouTube, I finished the other corner. I think it's the other way around. This is the one I did on camera and this is the one I did before I filmed. So this is just amazing. They're exactly the same, but with different uh, threads. It's getting pretty heavy. And I have some wool. I didn't have, you can do use like quilt batch, quilt, quilt batting, quilt batting to protect the beads. If you want to bead as you go and you have it on a scroll frame. So this is how it looks. And guys, the center is finished. I'm going to start with the, what do you call that? Um, not the walls. Oh, well, where you have all the flowers around. So, oh, it's going to be so good. So I was thinking like with filming and showing you, I'm, I'm saying I'm no expert on specialty stitches as all. Well. This is the first time I do it. So I'm all completely new, but I do know for myself with stitching the ch chatelaine, sometimes I wonder, have I understood the instructions correctly? So I, I ask on the support in the support group on Facebook, I watch pictures on, uh, in the gallery, uh, chatelaine gallery. And I watch YouTube and flo I mean, floss tube and everything. So I know it is, I appreciate seeing other close up pictures and I love watching on YouTube. It just makes it a little bit easier than just to reading instructions. I often want to, you know, see someone do it to understand. So, and I'm thinking there is probably someone else out there who feels just the same way as I do. So I was thinking I do the cross stitching, but when I go come to the, like these, some part of the instructions, or with the specialty stitches, I can show you this is how I have done it. And I can film that part. Uh, and that's too bad I didn't do this from the beginning. I was thinking about it, but then I was like, you know, I have no idea. And if you want to see how awesome the crystals are glittering, watch the last, um, my stitch uh, stitch with me uh, with Chatelaine. I, I show you how they they glitter and also one of the unpackings I usually you know open one of the tubes and pour out the crystals in my hand or the treasures and show you how amazing it is I mean a picture or like now when I'm holding it like this it, it 
doesn't do it justice. It is so beautiful. And you know what's funny? I was stitching on this like two weeks ago, something three weeks ago, and I had pulled my frame like to the back and I was uh, securing some thread. And my husband was like, wow, you're coming along great on that. It's going to look great. And I was like, well, that's thank you. But you're looking at the backside of the whip. And he was like, what? Seriously? And I turned it over and he said, well, this is how it look, looks for real. And he was like, wow. And it's not so often he says that. So it's I appreciate when he... When he says that so I'm, I'm stitching my poison garden on 28 count even weave i like this even weave uh, the next time i'm going to try uh, a 32 count and it uses all the beautiful threads and i bought it a kit from european um, cross-country cross-stitch company from the states so the poison garden um oh my god that was all oh so for plans uh so as you know the coming week i will stitch on once upon a fairy tale and i've already started today and it looks amazing and i hope i get to stitch a, a few more hours before i need to go to bed go to work tomorrow i have eight eight more days before it's vacation time i cannot wait uh so th the next floss tube i'm having a vacation it's going to be so great it's going to be so great um so that's that week and the other week I was thinking, should I do the wheel or something? Um, I was supposed to have a new start on the 1st of July. I was supposed to start my Game of Thrones and using the CXC threads, which I'm very curious to uh, try out. Um, but then it was Tour de France. And and I wanted to do a Game of Thrones, um, like, what do you call it, a marathon, where I watched all the, <laughs> the episodes and stitching. And I thought that's not possible with the Tour de France because that's like five to six hours of cycling every day and I'm working full time, so that's not gonna work. So I postponed the start so I was thinking maybe I should start that next week when Tour de France is done so then I can start watching the Game of Thrones and stitch on the Game of Thrones for a week um, to get a feeling for the th for the threads uh, and at the same time I was like well I'm having a start with the amazing Animal Kingdom together with Kat and some other guys of you uh some other guys some more of you out there wanted to join um so i i don't know if i'm like it's too you know two new starts too close so i don't know or should i you know stitch on my mirabilia or maybe just since i've stitched so many stitches on so off the steel, I could just let it rest for a week and jump on my poison garden. I don't know. I seriously don't know. Um, I might figure something out. I pro probably will. Um, I am leaning a little bit towards starting Game of Thrones because I'm very curious to the CXC threads. Um, but if you want to leave comments and um, what you think, uh, I would appreciate that. Uh, maybe you can, you know, push me in a direction. I, I usually appreciate that when I'm like, I don't know what, what to do, what to choose. Uh, so I will pass the wheel also so I don't have to do that extra editing 
today when I just uh, aren't having the best day. Um, so those that that was um, plans, not the best clear plans, but um, oh yeah, soul stitch retreat. There's like that's the only retreat I know of in Sweden, and we were supposed to go in April, but as we all know, the whole situation in the world that didn't happen. But it's gonna happen in September. I'm going. I cannot wait. I'm looking forward. My my boss has already said it's okay. She has given me the the days off. My husband said take the car. It's a new place and it's like it seems to have so beautiful nature around it. So I'm hoping I will get maybe some morning walk or some evening walk or something. I don't know. I'm going to be in a room full of crazy stitchers and I cannot wait. I'm not the social person. I'm like this when I know you. I can talk and talk and talk. Uh, but when I'm in those situations, I d I'm not really like that but the more I will meet these other lovely ladies I will get more and more comfortable but it's just a very very special feeling to sit in a room with like 30 other stitchers I don't know if we're gonna be 30 but like at least 25 and everyone loves stitching and everyone is stitching their own thing and it's different things and I, it's hard to explain but it's so worth that weekend uh, and you're away from home it's not like I want to be away from home but it's, it makes it a little bit special and Becca is coming stitchy Becca yes I cannot believe we kind of uh, got to know each other on floss tube and we were going to the same retreat like 30 people in all of Sweden and we're going to the same place I mean hello how small is the world I'm hoping Kat is coming it would be so cool to see you there I understand if you can't uh, I mean er, some people has a long way to travel it's it costs money of course um, but there's another girl who is called Therese. T Teresa? Therese? No, she's called Therese. She's a Swedish girl and I've kind of gotten to know her a little bit on Instagram. Um, and it seems that maybe she is taking the jump and maybe joining us. And that would be so amazing to meet you too. Uh, so I hope, I'm hoping uh, that you're coming as well, if you're watching this. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I'm really looking forward to the retreat, if I, if I didn't say that. Yeah. Um, 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 um. I'm starting to feel better. Maybe talking about cross-stitching is uh, a good way to <laughs> feel better. <laughs> So let's uh, jump to haul. I went totally bananas and I'm, I will almost feel a little ashamed of myself. So I will not show you all of the haul. I will, you know, cut it in two. So you will see some more of it in my next floss tube because this is just embarrassing, but Let's start with the most important thing. Our stitch along, which is starting on the 1st of August. It is the ambitious, amazing animal adventure, which me and Kat in Cat Talks uh, decided to start on the 1st of August. We're both stitching uh, the super size with max colors. I'm so happy that she would wants to do this with me. It's like a 20 year 
project. <laughs> or, well, it doesn't have to be, have to be if you only stitch on this one thing. But we all know, at least me, and I don't think Kat will do it either. We like to stitch on other things. Go over to her channel, Kat Talks. She's an English lady in Sweden. So, uh, a very sweet girl uh, who has great taste in stitching. And yeah, be careful. You might be unable watching her channel. Uh, but I know uh, quite a few of you has also uh, asked if you're allowed to join, even if you have started or if you decide you want to start a bit, you know, later, or maybe even next year. Absolutely. Everyone is welcome. Um, and we have some hashtags. I will uh, leave them in the comment, um, in the description box down below. So why was I talking about this? Yes, because first I ordered the CXC threads for the animal kingdom. I panicked because I was afraid that maybe I will not like the threads. And then I have started this amazing Amy Stewart piece. So I got the DMC threads. And I have all the haul on the floor. So I'm sorry for that I'm going to come out and off the screen. <clears throat> Not all threads are here. Some are uh, hopefully being delivered at a later point. This is like a bag of goodies, a bag of candy. Yeah. So I ordered that and yeah, I've showed you the fabric. It's going to be on 25 count easy grid and I have it in this green project bag because everything is color coded in my wheel now. Thanks to Kat. She has always such great ideas. Um, and then I have this box and I think I'm going to do the same thing as I did with Once Upon a Fairy Tale, that I'm going to take the lid and I'm going to put all these um, cleaning uh, things and glue them here. And then I will take the, um, the symbol, um, yeah, which tells you which colors you're stitching and I'll glue it on. And then I will put a needle, you know, park needles with threads on this like a thread organizer yes. and I got myself some needle minders um, I bought them on Etsy from a Lithuanian store it's important that it's European Union as many things as possible so we don't have to pay the, the freaking tax but I couldn't resist this one because it made me think of Titanic, the heart of the ocean, right? So I had to have that. I love Titanic. I love everything about Titanic. And then I bought 200 needles. You can never have enough needles. And then I bought one of these where I'm going to put the needles in. I love them. All is from Etsy, it's the same store. And I bought seven of these um, also thread or organizers. I have them for my Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I love them. They are perfect. The only thing which is not perfect is this uh, white paper thing that you, you know, glue on the middle where you write the symbols or the, the numbers. On the ones I have for Once Upon a Fairy Tale, they aren't uh, sticking too well, so I have to glue that on. But otherwise, they are amazing. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. And I bought some bobbins. You can never have too many of them either. And then I actually think that Cat bought all the floss bags for her super size max color 
So there weren't any for me to order. So I was thinking, what can I buy instead? Because I wanted floss bags, but I couldn't find any. Nowhere. Well, you know, you can find them maybe in the States and everything, but I didn't want to pay that. Anyway, I found an office store online which had plenty of plastic bags. So I was thinking, you know, it doesn't have to be a floss away bag. It can be just like any floss bag. I can write the text. Perfect, huh? And it also has a hole. So if I would like to put it on a ring, it is possible. It's perfect. So how many did I get? I got 300 of them and it was very cheap. I bought it in Sweden. So if you're not Swedish, you don't have to ask. But I mean, why not? So I'm thinking I'm going to do what Kat did. I saw that she had put everything in her in the in the floss away bags and she had put them in a box. So I'm thinking one, two, there should be I I think maybe. I don't know. I'm going to try. Put it in the bag, in the box. I mean so it's all kitted up. I do miss some of the colors, which annoys me a little bit, but I will have to just wait until they get here. But I'm so ready to start this stitch along. What? It was 22 days yesterday, Kat, right? So it has to be 21 days to go. It sounds like a lot. But I can't wait. And come join us. Post your pictures on Instagram and use, use the hashtags so we can follow each other and encourage each other. Now. <sighs> oh. I'm coming. Oh. Yes. So, since everything everything is in plastic bags it's like sliding everywhere I have found some new patterns which I just love it's the Plum Streets the Plum Street samplers this is llama lump it's a lot of glare I have a thing with llamas together with my good friend at work and we have a lot of fun with these. So when I saw this, I was like, I need it. Small and cute. There's maybe 15 different of these. I wanted to buy them all, but then I told myself, are you going to stitch them all? I was like, maybe, no, probably not. Then don't get them all. Okay. So I might convince myself another day. I got another one of them, Plum Street, and this is the, gut, the goat load. Now, why did I get the goats? Well, I have a daughter who loves goats. She's like, please, mom, can I have a goat? She, she asks, asks me this all the time. She wants a goat. So I had a very hard time finding goats. I know Julie Bell Vallejo, the one who's the artist for uh, Soft as Steel. She has painted a beautiful painting with goats. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. I wish we could do that in cross stitching, but anyway, so I got that one. I have everything in my lap now and it's just sliding off. Oh, I got a Mirabilia. I know I, I showed you another one last time. 
Um, and you know, these two has never really caught my eye, but all of a sudden I'm like totally in love with them. I need to stitch these, like now. It is um, the Gypsy Mermaid, the MD-126. She's beautiful. And if I haven't told you, I'm going to collect all the Mirabilias. I'm on a hunt. I'm like, I'm in a frenzy, Mirabilia frenzy. And of course, I got the embellishment pack because you can still get, get them. And there's some big, nice pearls. Yeah. And I got some of the fancy threads, no chronic. I just decided to go uh, get the the Caron lilies, which were in stock. And then I will just add up later when it's, you know, I think the world is having problems getting Krennic and water lilies. At least it seems to be a problem in Europe. And I told you guys last time that I had ordered the fabric for those Mira, for that Mira. And I realized it was too small and I was disappointed. I was disappointed in myself that I wasn't, you know, being um, you know, that you don't check it properly. So I got a piece, big piece for both of them. And it's lovely. I love it. Uh, I I didn't, you know, realize that I was going to like this dark linen, but I love it. Those colors are going to pop like I don't know what on this on this. And the owner of the store where I bought the stuff um contacted me and you know, offered to switch the small piece um and I said no. That's fine. It was my mistake. And I will, I will find something to stitch on. You can never have too little fabric, right? Yes. And the fancy floss. I'm sorry, I'm going in and off here. Um, yes. My favorite store in the world when it comes to Mirabilia's because the people who owns Hawkins Hobbies are just amazing people and yeah I seriously hate that we have Brexit because I have to you know really think extra twice if I should order any kits from uh, from them but this is like an old, not older, but it has taken some time to get all the threads and everything from the kit. And I'm like, have I even opened it? Yes, I have. Because I got the chronic myself. So I have just put that in. And this is the, um, the Echo Lake. Oh, it is so special. Even my husband thought it was a really cool one. And hey, it's mermaids. So I have um, everything, even the fabric. So that's one. And then uh, since I shout, made a shout out or wh whatever you call it last time uh, on my last floss tube that I am going to collect all the Mirabilia's. So if you have any uh, that you don't want, or, you know, please reach out to me. I, I'm 
definitely interested if I don't have that the the pattern please talk to me I'm interested I know that there is like a collection value to many of the out of prints and uh, I am that kind of person who will pay money to get the other prints but you know I won't pay just anything but anyway uh, I, 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 I will say the same never mind I made the shout out and one of you out there did reach out and asked if I was interested in Seaside Kingdom Seaside Kingdom, the MD-51, it's an outer print, um, it's unbroken, and the embellishment pack for it. Oh, hello! Thank you. Thank you very much. I was interested, we talked, and... I'm very happy about this, really. Uh, I watched Stitching Mommy and she showed a, clo a close up on her. She had finished this and it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah. So I'm very happy about that. Thank you. Um, yeah, she didn't give it. I paid for it. So, but I'm so happy that, you know, someone, um, aren't afraid of reaching out and you know asking so I mean if you don't want to stitch it or if you don't want it yay <laughs> I do so if you have any memorabilia that you don't want please reach out now <clears throat> I haven't gotten on the train which is all about stickers um, a few, few. I think there's quite a lot of floss tubers out there that has gone all crazy with stickers and you know putting stickers in their planners. Uh, but I got some stitchy kindness. I would say it's stitchy kindness uh, because I will use it in my my stitchy planner. Uh, my daughter and husband thought I should get some stickers and there are some llamas in there and that is why and you got Pooh you know from Kung Fu Panda which I love and some happy birthday because I'm having a birthday soon yes next month um, so that was very sweet of them um, and <clears throat> Again, Hawking Hobbies, Hawkins, Hawkins Hobbies. So let's stay with the Mirabilia. I got the kit for Winter Queen. I had the pattern. I've told you this story before. I had finally, I had gotten all the four queens and I asked Hawkins Hobbies if they could help me stitch, uh, kit up um, all four queens. I know two of them are not out of print, so you can get the, the kit from them. Um, but the other autumn and spring is out of print. So she said, absolutely. The problem is that I didn't write winter queen i wrote snow queen so i got snow queen as a fourth kit and hey it wasn't the one i i wanted but i'm happy because now i have that kit as well and it's just a beautiful kit uh so i think for maybe can, uh, a year at least i had been thinking about this you know kidding up winter queen and i don't know i've just been you know pushing it forward and yeah and then i just decided let's just get 
the kit and we have the four queens and I'm so happy. So now I need to get some, I, I think I, I want white opal even weave for all the queens. I think that's going to look very beautiful. So now I need to find some 32 count with a lot of sparkle in it. So I got that. And my final, um, final shadowing. It's the Pomeran Pomerium, the Pomerium Mandala. I got the kit for that. Yeah. And there are some, some threads missing, which they will send later on. And I will have a packing for this in the future. Here's the beads. Oh, let's see. Go get yourself a shadowing. You all deserve it. Yes. So that was that. So that's the whole, f you know, for today. It's going to be enough. I have something here back more. Nira Bilia stuff in the back. But we will take that there next time. I also got myself some boxes because I ran out of room for my mirabilias and I thought two boxes would be enough. It wasn't. And it's because I've kitted up many of them. Uh, now when I'm, I'm going to collect the patterns, I'm not gonna kit up all of them. I, I'm gonna get the patterns and some I will get the embellishment packs if it's possible. And if I feel that I would like to stitch them at that moment and if the embellishment pack aren't too expensive I don't know so I filled it up two of them and the third one here is going to be filled up as well and the one I have here in the bottom is my hand dyed fabrics which I have collected during uh, last year and this year I think uh, for being uh, you know, fabric of the month. Yes. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Um, that's it. Let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful two coming weeks and that you're enjoying summer. I don't know if I'm enjoying it because it's so damn hot. I um, hope you're enjoying your stitching. I know I am. Um, if you want to uh, support me and my channel, there is a link to buy me a coffee in the description box. Um, you have my email there if you want to get in contact. Uh, I'm Ronja76. On Instagram there's a story to why I use that name we'll take it another time I have plans for August not only the stitch along but uh, since I have four weeks off from work I have decided that I'm going to you know do like uh, Mirabilia video what I have, you know, looking at the kits and the patterns, not opening the patterns, but you know, which ones I have, which kits I have. Uh, I am going to do a whip parade, you know, the 20 something, around 20 full coverage pieces I have, which I'm stitching on, uh, which I've decided that these are like my rotation. Oh my God. And uh, we're going to look at my, uh, at least heaven and earth patterns, which I have. Uh, some, some of you have asked for that. Um, I think that's it. But I have some plans coming up for, for the summer where I can take the time and film and, you know, do the editing and everything. So 
stay tuned for a lot of uh, upcoming fun videos. I'm going to do a stitch with me where I talk about my other hobbies, which I'm not doing at the moment because the cross stitching is like taking my time, which I don't mind at all, but I've taken some pictures of some of the things that I've made um, because that has also been requested. So yeah. Have a good two weeks and I will talk to you soon. There's some stitch alongs coming, of course, stitch and chats and everything. So keep your eyes open. See you. Bye.